Uh, opening the church for people, for tourists to come in and have a look and talk to people and try to work with people. And this Jewish backpacker came in one night uh, by the name of Mordechai Venunu and we became friends. We found we'd studied philosophy together, we'd done all sorts of things in common. Uh, what I didn't know was he had in his backpack photographs undeveloped of the secret Israeli nuclear uh, facility in Demona under the Negev Desert that he'd been involved in the development and manufacture of nuclear bombs and that he'd taken photos of these because he believed he had to do something to tell the world about what was happening. He had a conscience. And uh, as our friendship developed, this came out and um, he, he eventually, Sorry. eventually to the Sunday Times in London about the secret nuclear arms facility. At that point, when he was in London, and I always live with regret that I didn't go with him there because he was kidnapped uh, by a Mossad agent, taken back to Israel in the bottom of a cargo boat. He was drugged and chained and uh, he was uh, tried on charges of treason, espionage and betrayal of state secrets and sentenced to 18 years in prison. 18 He's, years? 18 years. He spent 11 and a half years in solitary confinement, oh. which is the longest on record any human being has been in solitary confinement. And I wrote to him over that period every month and his mind deteriorated terribly over those years. It's amazing in many ways that he's still uh, sane. After he was released from solitary he became more cogent again and I was there when he was released in uh, April 2004 and that was a... You went where? You went in... I went to Israel. To, I promised Israel. him every letter I wrote him I promised I would be there that, the day he was released and so I thought I had to go <laughs> and uh, I thought it would just be me and him but uh, maybe one or two of his brothers, but it was, uh, there were, uh, it was a very violent scene at the prison when he was released. There were a lot of peace activists, a lot of wonderful people, a lot of young Jewish people who were very uh, pro-support uh, the Palestinian cause and pro-peace. But there were a lot of settlers there as well, Moroccan settlers, and it, was, it became, after, the, after he got out of the, the prison and they drove him away in a secure car so the settlers couldn't kill him, uh, it was like a riot broke out. It was terrible. <laughs>